Hey guys, and welcome to another YouTube page of mine. I am sorry about the shout out on last Thursday. I was just busy, and my camera wouldn't start up, and I was so mad. Um, since next, oh, today is shout out day. I want to shout out to the Madrigger Nuggets. He's doing a wonderful job on his channel. Um, I'm hoping that I can get up there soon. But it's just the problem is, is you guys, I'm not blaming you or anything. It's just that I need more subscribers. And I need help on that. And I'm not doing so good. Um, I did a video... Oh, two days ago, and I had to actually sneak to do my video on YouTube. Um, I had to use the company vehicle for it, which that would be the first and the last time that I will be doing. I got a weapon in my hand. <laughs> First time and last time I will use my company vehicle. I'm not going to do that no more. Um, it's uh, for insurance purposes. I know it stinks. But. I wanted to capture the countryside. And that's the only time I go to the countryside. Is my company vehicle. So that's why I did it. Um, I want to hear from you guys. Um, I want to hear from you. I will be doing a lot of vlogs now. Um, not an everyday vlog like the Mudrigger Nuggets do, Angry Grandpa, and all that. I, no. I will be doing once a week or maybe twice a week. Um, let's see. I want to hear from you about your Thanksgiving, since it is coming up. And what are you guys going to do on your Christmas, too? Because this is going to be so awesome. This is going to be the first... Well, it's not going to be awesome for us, is because I lost my grandfather in January of 2016. Um... It didn't seem like he was in, he suffered or anything, but he died of cancer. And he was 81 years old. And he had a good life. Um, I say he was a wonderful, wonderful man. Okay. Uh, he, uh... He is originally from Georgia. Thank you. He's originally from Georgia. All right. And he came up to Ohio. Okay. His brothers and sisters are from Georgia also. We went down there this summer. If you guys haven't seen the video of me the flags that was from Tennessee. I was heading back to my family members, you know, and I decided to videotape the flags of the world, which if you guys go to the Tennessee line, Georgia line, okay, find the fields of the woods, you guys will be so amazed at that spot. There, I want to know if you guys, if you ever went there, see if you guys can climb 320 stairs just to get to the top. That's a lot of stairs. There's a road right behind it that goes behind it and goes way in back of the woods. That's the flags of the world. I mean, tons of flags. 
if you stand right between the flags and look from a distance, you see mountains on a great sunny day or in the fall time. That is so, that was amazing. That's in one place you guys should go if you have a motorcycle, if you're not from Georgia. I mean, that would be a good road trip right there. You guys can look it up on Google Maps. You guys can look it up at Maps. Any Maps. Find it. That is a good trip for you guys. I know winter is coming, and I'm doing this way too, you know, late for this. But make it as a trip. You'll be amazed with it. Um, I liked it, you know. If you guys can find places like that, you guys can even explore it on Google Maps. What it is, uh, how you get there, the directions, what can you do between stops. You know, there's, ev there's a lot of stuff. I mean, tons of stuff. You know? Um, let me see. Let me find another place that you guys need to go to. Um, try to find some places like that. Uh, the Big Yarn. That's a good place to go. Uh, castles. You know, there's tons of them. You know? You guys can make a, like, a little contest with that, you know? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you about this contest, I don't know for how long. Let me tell you about it again. But this time, let's go step by step. All you have to do is get a map. You can have a road atlas or a regular map. With your state on it. Now, in the index, there's, there's the cities. In little print. What county, wherever. Write them all down. Cut them out. Put them in the bowl. Or a jug. Or anything. Put them in any, anything you want. Gather up a lot of friends. This is going to be the excitement. Find a good place for all you guys. I mean tons. This could be a good fundraiser for you guys, too. Each person has to pick out the jug. Okay. They got to go there. Okay. It's awesome. Once they get there, they got to find an activity to do. It could be going to a bowling alley and play a game. They could go to miniature golfing. They can go to hiking, horseback riding, whatever. Okay, this is a good fundraiser. It's like the bull run when Bill Goldberg used to do, but a little different. Instead of the cars doing the activities, you do the activities. Now, there are most of these places that don't have anything. Go out to eat. You never know. Or you guys can travel before you guys do the fundraiser to see what they really have in, the, in that place. In that town. It's got to be in the town, though. You guys can go out to eat. You guys can do some research. Not research, but, you know, explore the town. 
you know, uh, go to a park. You know, some of them, some most, some of these parks do have history in them. But I know a lot of you don't like history. That's fine. You know, go explore a little bit around your state. If you want to do two states, go for it. You know, I think that would be the most exciting time. You know? Now, this is a fun activity to do. Yeah. For bikers, for anybody, for a family, uh, for, you know, for a fundraiser. It's mostly for the fundraisers, you know, for the kids or for the adults, whatever. Um, if you want to do three states, if your state's not big enough, do three states. And there's states close by you, you know. I know Hawaii is an island, and they don't really have much there. You know, well, they probably do, but, you know, go swimming, go, you know, think of ideas what you guys can do. Put it in, put it anywhere you want. Fundraisers is a good idea for it because it comes in big groups. Bikers, same thing. They come in packs, okay? That would be a good idea. Go to bars if you want to. Find every single bar in that state. You know, I don't care. Okay, I know you bikers love to drink. Okay. Uh, you know, try new things, you know, on this. You know, just write every city down on that state. Now, you could pick six hours, you could pick three hours, you could pick two hours. I don't care. That's up to you. That's not up to me. That's up to you. I'm just giving you guys the idea how to do this. You can raise money this way. You can do it for fun. You guys can do it whenever. You could do, you could do this in the winter time. You could do this in the fall. You could do this in the spring summer it would be best if you guys did it in the summer because there's a lot of places open you guys can go to amusement parks it does not matter it's something so take into consideration that you guys can do an activity like that I really want to do that but I don't have a group to do it to travel that way you know I just gave you a good idea of how you guys are going to do things you know instead of the cars doing things you go do things you guys can walk out in a museum right? find things to do you know I mean I know there's plenty things to do in the United States especially in Russia, Europe, but I don't know if you guys want to go that far. It's that's up to you. I think you guys will I think you guys will be successful for it. I know it takes money, but there's this thing called sponsors. Now what you do with sponsors, they give you they give you the money to do this. That's called the fundraiser part. For doing it for fun. Try to find a way to do that fun. You know, it's... For me, I think that would be a fun thing to do. You know, at least you get to go out. Okay, you can have it a family thing. You can have it a wonderful time. You know, just think about it. Uh... I wanted to do it, but I just don't have enough people from to do this. 
and there's some of these places that I've been picking, there's nothing to do instead of going out to eat a lot. You know, I know you guys are going to get full. Oh my god, there's nothing to do here either. Oh my god. You know, just try new things. You can do it any time, any season. I know most of the stuff is closed right now, like the amusement parks are closed. But, you know, go explore. It's great to explore things. I always wanted to do it, and I thought that would have been a good idea, but nobody wants to do what I want to do. Of course not, you know. But if you guys do it, you know, that would be a great enjoyment for you guys. You guys will have a lot more fun, you know. Yes, I'm a smoker. So, yeah, you know, just, just try to... What do you guys think about the Majorga Nuggets now? He's going to almost every YouTuber now. He guys went to the uh, Angry Grandpa's house. Kid behind the camera's house. Now he's going to Boogie's house. What do you guys think about that? I'm hoping that you guys, I'm hoping, I'm trying to get my audience, audiences back. Okay, um, I'm thinking real hard on how I'm going to get you guys back. But I am going to, I'm thinking about this one with consideration, you know, I just helped you guys out on what you guys can do. Oh, it's boring. Kids, you got his cars. There you go. It's not a race, though. If you guys want to make it as a race, that's up to you. You pay your own ticket, pay your own accidents. You know, who cares, right? <clears throat> do whatever you want to do with it. You guys can put it as a race. I know you teenagers wants to go fast. So. <laughs> but. If you guys do this. If you guys do this. Please be safe and be careful. Please put your seatbelt on. I mean. You'll be amazed on where you guys are. You guys are going to end up. I'm not saying get lost. I'm just telling you, get in your cars and take a drive. And you bikers, all you have to do is ride. That is it. So I think that's a good activity for you guys to take in consideration during springtime. When the motorcycles comes out, you ride. That's all I can think of. And plus... You guys can even, you guys can even have a nice family time, too. So, you'd be surprised. Flags of the world, that's an awesome thing to see. Uh, fields of the woods, that is an awesome thing to see. You know, that's down in Tennessee, on the border of... Tennessee and Georgia. That is awesome. And they have great, great barbecued stuff. So, I would consideration on doing that, this, than anything else. So, now my theory of this activity was you get two cars like they are in a race and see who would get there first and come back first. Then they got to go pick up, they got to switch off, switch the, the cities and see who would go, you know. And then 
the next two will pick their cities and take off and see who came back first. You know, that would be a good one, too. My theory was no GPSs, but if you guys want to use your GPSs, that's fine. You know, you guys are going to use them anyway, you know. I thought that was... I thought that would be neat, you know, just to try this. You know, just pick a city out of the jar and go. That's your family vacation. It doesn't matter. I would have picked Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Indiana, Wisconsin, Michigan. You know, I would have picked all those states. You know, that would have been awesome. You know... At least you'll be out of the state. You might be in your state. It depends on what city you pick. You know, just make sure they know what state to go to, though, because some of them has the same name, but different states. So, yeah, I think that would be neat. So, you guys, take into consideration on this activity. And you might guys might enjoy it. Just give it a shot. What do you have to lose? Well, you guys take care. I'm sorry about the shout-outs. Um, I was viewing a video of Arrowhead. He's got some pretty cool music. I think you guys should subscribe him. He's a real Indian. Um... There's a girl out there that's on my Instagram. Uh, she wants a shout out. So we'll shout out to her, which she don't have a YouTube page, but we'll shout out to her anyway. Uh, I think her name was Shannon, I think. And we want to shout out to Esley. U-S-L-Y. We're going to shout out to him. He's got shout outs on Saturdays and he's got vlogs during the week. So shout out to him and plus shout out to Violet first. His son does weird stuff. I think you guys should uh, subscribe to them too. And Bridget West and Pickle Boy. And the Madriga Nuggets and his family, Uncle Larry, Jeffrey, the big bro. Yeah. So, there's your guys' shout-outs for this week. And I guess I'll catch you on a vlog. You guys take care and have a wonderful day. And please subscribe, like, and comment. Because we're going to be discussing a lot more activities just like I just discussed tonight. So you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. Later.